Hi everyone, my name is Dinkar and today I am going to present a work titled SCMIF, Supervised Contrast of Multiple Instance Learning for Imbalanced Classification and Pathology. Pathology is the study of disease by microscopic inspection of tissue from different organs of the body. A typical patient journey starts with some symptoms followed by non-invasive tests like radiology. At this point, if there is some evidence of malignancy, pathology is used to arrive at a definitive diagnosis. It involves extracting a piece of tissue called a biopsy that is analyzed by a pathologist. This process is subjective for various reasons that we will cover in the upcoming slides. This is how the data that is the whole slide images, WSIs or slides look like. This one is from lymph node with metastatic cancer highlighted in pink. It is tough to score slides because of various reasons. They are massive in resolution, think billions of pixels, with each magnification level containing sometimes very different information. They can also have stain variations, which can confirm models. In addition to that, exhaustive labeling of these images is prohibited as they require expert annotations and are time consuming. In this case, the annotated region is much smaller relative to the size of the image. Finding regions of interest within these WSIs can sometimes be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Multiple instance learning or MIL allows us to directly predict a label from the large pathology image using the concept of permutation invariant prediction on sets. The whole slide image is broken down into patches which form a bag. These patches are featureized and passed to an attention module which predicts an attention score for each patch. These scores are used to compute a bag representation which is finally used to compute the final prediction of the WSI. Label imbalance in histopathology domain is present at two levels, dataset and whole slide image. In datasets, imbalance arises from different prevalence rates of diseases. For a given WSI with positive label, only a small subset of patches contribute to that positive label. This compounds the severity of imbalance making imbalance classification in pathology challenging. Prior work has shown that for imbalanced datasets, cross entropy loss, that is the top figure, learns skewed features, which can result in biased classifiers. Supervised contrastive learning, that is the bottom two figures, learns more interclass separable features for improved classifier learning. So how can we adapt this for MIL methods in pathology? In this work, we propose SCMIL, a novel MIL technique to tackle label imbalance in pathology that integrates SCL into the MIL framework. In the MIL setting, labels are only available for a bag that is a collection of patches and not individual patches. Applying SCL to patch features assumes assigning a bag label to individual patches. However, a single patch might not have any information about the WSI label. For example, a malignant WSI might have many patches which contain only normal tissue. This motivates our bag level formulation of SCMIL, where contrastive loss is applied to the bag features. This is how the SCMIL algorithm works in practice. Specifically, given a set of instances for a bag, we compute the back representation using the MIL formulation. We now use a non-linear multi-layer perceptron to generate the projection for the back representation. We then compute the SCL loss for MIL. Additionally, we use a smooth transition from feature learning to classifier learning in the course of training, which allows the model to learn a more discriminative feature space 
helping in imbalance classification. We use two cancer subtyping data sets in our experiments, TCGA RCC and TCGA NSCLC. To simulate varying degrees of label imbalance, we sample WSIs from the available classes to generate imbalance in the train set, while the held out sets were kept the same. We experimented with imbalance ratios of 1, 5, and 10. We also deployed all trained models on two OOD datasets, collected from different patient populations and having different sample characteristics for NSCLC and RCC. This slide contains example images from the ID and OOD datasets. We can see the significant differences in visual appearance, which in turn impacts model performance. We trained three baseline models, an attention MIL model with random sampling, called as ABMIL-RS, and class balance sampling, ABMIL-CB, and a version using label distribution aware margin loss with deferred reweighting, LDAM-DRW, that has previously shown to be successful for addressing label imbalance in single instance classification. We trained SCMIL with random and class balance sampling. On ID RCC test sets, SCMIL outperforms other techniques across all imbalance ratios, and the difference is more pronounced at higher imbalance ratios. To further stress test these methods, we deployed these models on the OOD test data set, and performance improvements using SCMIL persist in this OOD setting. Similar findings hold true for the NSCLC subtyping ID and OOD test sets. We performed a few ablations to understand the impact of architectural choices and training hyperparameters on the performance. In the first experiment, we train a patch level version of SCMIL where we naively assign the back level label to instances and then apply supervised contrastive loss. This patch level SCMIL has inferior performance and higher variance as compared to our formulation, providing evidence that the back level formulation is more robust. We also experimented with temperature values of 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 1, and found that the models are generally robust to temperature changes. We reason that this is because of the low number of classes in our setting. Unlike data sets like ImageNet, where the number of classes is large and higher values of temperature harm feature quality. In summary, label imbalance in pathology is a challenging problem owing to the highly skewed distribution of classes, both at the data set and the WSI level. We propose SCMIL a novel integration of supervised contrastive learning into the MIL framework to tackle this label imbalance problem. Experiments show our back level formulation to be superior to patch level SCMIL and other baselines across multiple degrees of label imbalance. And these improvements persist in OOD settings. We hope that these results drive adoption of ML in real world clinical applications. Thank you.